Hey, how's it going, Sandia? Douglas James here. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this quick video that I made for you. So in this video presentation, I'm going to be going over your two websites, okay? I'm going to do a full SEO analysis. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly where you're at online, uh, how much business you're generating, how much business you can be generating with SEO, um, and then show you the exact process we go into to do that for you. And I'm also going to be showing you uh, some Facebook ads that have been very successful uh, for orthodontics. Uh, here in San Diego. All right, so again, just kick back, relax. I'm gonna go through the video. Uh, I'm gonna jump right in now. Um, so, as you can see, we're on my company's website, it's amplocal.com here in San Diego. Please visit here for more information. All right, um, so here's your first site, Dental Health Bonita. Um, so, the biggest reasons why you know we want to do SEO and be on the top searches of Google, it's because over 90% of the population, when they need a product or service, they're going to be searching on Google, all right? And over 70% of the individuals are going to click from the top page, and over 80% are going to actually be coming in from a cellular device, an iPhone or a Galaxy phone or Android phone, all right? So your site has to be mobile-friendly. Um, so there's many, many reasons why you want to you know, invest in the SEO so you're at the top of these searches so someone finds you versus finding your top competitor and that's how you lose business. All right, so for here in San Diego, you know, someone needs dental services every month consistently around 38 to 45, even, even 60,000 times a month, every single month. All right, there are 40 to 60,000 people every single month looking for your services. All right, so if you're at the top of the searches, imagine how much business you can be generating. Okay, the keyword alone, uh, dentist, gets searched 4,400 times a month in San Diego. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is show you some positions where you're at right now on Google. Um, so the first one I looked up is uh, Invisalign La Jolla. Okay, so as you can see, you know, you see Dr. Asham there, um, but I couldn't find you on page one all right at all uh, before I get into this let me show you this chart real quick so this shows you where you want to be and how many clicks go to each site so when you're ranked number one organically you get about 35 percent of the total market number two is around 18 percent number three is 12 percent and as you can see as you go down you lose more and more business okay and uh, number two there's a joke that goes around you know page two of Google is the best place to hide a dead body okay it's kind of true um, because if you're not on page one you're not going to generate any business so definitely you want to be in these top positions here so i couldn't find you for um in, in let's see invisalign la jolla we looked that one up uh this one right here so let me go back to bonita dental implants bonita um couldn't find you on the first page here okay um, Invisalign Bonita. Let's see, first page. Okay, didn't see you there as well. Um, however, for Dennis Bonita, you are ranked one or in the maps and number one organically. Okay, so these Google Maps is your local businesses. So anyone in Bonita searching for you will find you uh, there. And these are your organics. This is where you want to be at the top of. So for that keyword, you are on point there so very good on that um, let's see dental care let's see no you're actually you're number one here in the maps and you're actually number four here okay and that's a uh, dental health bonita um, and it looks like yep that's you right there okay so let me move to La Jolla uh, Dennis La Jolla um, I know I understand that you know that your sites are your sites getting some work done so I couldn't find you actually at all on the first page for um, Dennis La Jolla okay uh, for dental implants La Jolla same thing um, couldn't find you either for these keywords either and then Invisalign La Jolla uh, couldn't find you there on the first page okay so these three keywords dental implants Invisalign Dentist, um, you know, I understand you have multiple comprehensive 
uh, types of uh, services in your dental clinic. Um, these are definitely the top three that you want to be at the top of and out of the six we looked at you're only visible on one of the keywords okay so quickly I'm gonna show you how much business and then keep in mind you know 40 to 60 thousand leads possible patients per month I know that's a lot and overwhelming but uh, for you as a growing uh, uh, business you definitely want to get as much shares as, as, as you possibly can so for uh, dentalhealthbonita.com um, you're actually getting around 114 visitors per month to your site which is pretty good and that's probably uh, because you're at the top of just the keyword dentist uh, but just for that one keyword um, for your other website let's see uh, let me go back so for dental health la jolla um, you're getting only 33 visitors per month so a lot less so in between your two businesses you're getting around 170 uh, unique visitors per month to your website okay so there's a lot a lot of potential for you to grow your company uh, to grow your business um, here in San Diego, given that you know forty to sixty thousand times a month, someone searching and clicking on the site, and you're getting around one hundred and seventy of those. So we definitely want to double, triple, uh, and, and quadruple the traffic so you get more and more patients um, into your clinic every month. All right. So now that I kind of you know gave you the background where you're ranked, um, you know where you want to be ranked, definitely in the in number one and two positions. Um, talked about how many times someone needs your service, 40 to 60,000 times per month. Now I'm going to go into um, SEO and what is it and what do you do to better it, okay? Um, the first thing with search engine optimization is we want to know since over 80% of your clients are going to come into your site from a mobile device, you want to be mobile friendly. So for Bonita Family Dental, um, that this site is mobile friendly currently at the moment all right and for um, let's see okay for dental health la jolla this site all right is also mobile friendly now I understand that you're getting some work done um, but just keep in mind this is definitely something you want to keep in mind whenever you're redoing your site okay so the next thing that we look at on the sites, and this is something that your web developer should take into account, but the keyword research, okay, and authoritative content, you want to have at least 2,000 words of content on your home page. So for like this site, it only has roughly 500 words, okay? Um, and for this site, there's really not much content at all, okay? It's a very nice looking site. Um, there's a little bit of content here, maybe three or four hundred words in total. So you definitely want to add, um, have at least two thousand words of content, and then all of the keywords that we know we want to rank you for: dentist, teeth whitening, dental implants, veneers, um, dentures, uh, wisdom teeth removal, tooth extraction. I mean, you can see there's tons of words that people are searching to find you. Um, and again, 40 to 60,000 times per month, you want to have in-depth keyword research on your home page of your website so that Google can recognize you when someone is searching these keywords. So you appear at the top of the searches. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Um, so again, to recap, 2,000 words on the home page and an in-depth keyword research because these are the words people are searching to find your services. Um, and what I want to show you authoritative content let me show you what it looks like so I went to Google typed in elephant Wikipedia is notorious for these searches at being at the top is because of the authoritative content so when you look at this page they have endless amounts of information in regards to elephants their evolution what they eat everything okay um, this is kinda what you want your page to look like now I wouldn't say all this I would definitely say a nice chunk of information something like this as you can see that's a light abundance amount of information that's what what I mean by authoritative content. All right, so moving on, talked about your mo site mobile friendliness and then authoritative content with the keyword research. Next, we're going to talk about local citations. So your local citations is what's exactly uh, responsible for getting you at the top of the um, the Google Maps. Okay, so your citation profile has to be one hundred percent. So for your Bonita website, right now you're only optimized at 67%. Okay, so there's a 33% error rate. Uh, and this is part of the reason why you're not ranked 
in many other keywords other than just dentist. Okay, so as you can see, there is a um, error with your business name here. Business name, it's named Family Dental. The business name, address, and phone, have, phone number have to be identical across the board. Okay, if not, Google's going to slap you down. So these discrepancies is affecting your Google rankings overall. You're missing a listing here, here. Again, the name is different. Uh, missing a listing, names different, missing listings, okay. Um, you know, looks like you're, again, so the biggest thing is just inconsistency with the name of your business and then you're missing these listings, okay. So you have a 33% error rate for Bonita. Um, and for this site, currently, uh, it looks like you have a 25% error rate. So you only, you're only optimized 75%. So Here's a discrepancy in your address, missing listings, discrepancy in the name of the business, missing listings, and you know you can kind of see, you know where where it's uh, the error rate is coming in effect. So you're missing listings, uh, phone numbers wrong here. Um, this is the top 50 in the country. You want to be listed in all these, but there's actually thousands, and we can get you listed in more and more over time, so you can rank in more and more keywords in the Google Maps. All right, so that's your local citations. This is very very important. Um, if you're going to be ranked across, you know, San Diego and multiple keywords, um, you definitely want to have an accurate uh, local citation profile. Um, the fourth thing that I'm going to talk to you about, and this is the last one, okay, um, as far as SEO goes, is your backlinks, okay? So I'll go over to Dental Health Bonita first. So, you know, SEO really is what you say about your business online and what everybody else says about your business online. And we, when I met you in your office, um, I kind of talked about this. You want the most highest quality links linking to your website. All right. Um, so these numbers in front of you, and the way you would get a link like this is say, you know, maybe you did veneers for a, a patient and maybe they write a blog or have a website. What's going to happen is they're going to actually mention you on the internet. Uh, or write a blog about you, um, and that's going to give you what's called a backlink. Okay, but um, you don't always have to have that. You're like we, as SEO specialists, you know, we have our um, our database of you know high quality links that we use for our, our clients, um, so that you can get this popularity and to show Google that you are a popular source and that you should be showed on top searches for the big keywords for your company. Um, so these numbers, what you see right here is referring domain means there's 10 websites mentioning you online and backlinks, um, you know, it could be social media links, but the most important thing is your trust flow. All right, so this goes from zero to 100. Let me show you this link, this site. So at a zero, you're at low quality, right? You want to be above 20. 20 is high quality uh, backlinks or influence pages, okay? Um, so right now, Bonita doesn't really have a good trust flow, and that's mainly the reason why you're not really ranking in any other keywords but Dennis. All right, so you want to have high-powered links linking to your site so that you move in the rankings a lot higher for multiple keywords, so you're going to attract a lot more business and traffic and patients into your clinic. All right, so that's Bonita. So you pretty much have zero trust flow there. Um, this is dental health uh, La Jolla your other site okay um, so this one has 33 links uh, linking to it 3100 backlinks um, which is pretty decent and a trust flow of 17 but also keep in mind look you're not quite meeting high quality you want to be above a 20 if you're gonna rank any all of the top competitors are over 20 so that's where you want your business to be so we will be able to um, point these influence pages at one to two per week, very high quality um, uh, to your site. So you get these top positions. So um, so that is the backlinks process. So now what I'll actually want to do is I want to show you one of our clients, uh, Robert Sunstein up in La Jolla's orthodontist, pretty much just does orthodontics. Um, we took his site and ranked him uh, before you couldn't find them on page one for San Diego orthodontist. And keep in mind, this is a big search term. This is for San Diego uh, in a 3.5 million population. Um, for orthodontist, we actually ranked him number seven right here on the home page. Okay. 
San Diego orthodontist ranked him on the home on the first page of Google for all of San Diego um, and then of course locally in La Jolla orthodontist he's number one right here in the organic so he's doing very very well um, with our SEO um, and here's his site since we took him out on San Diego orthodontist.com as you can see there's 25 uh, domains referring to him and his trust flow is 26 so that's where you want to be above the 20 this this is actually off the charts all of our links that we're going to link to your site are of very high quality they're all 25 and even 30 plus so you can expect very high quality links coming to your site um, so this is the type of results that you can expect uh, when you get from us and as you can see where Robert's ranked um, he's ranked he's in some very good positions for San Diego and La Jolla um, and of course that's going to be the goal for you you know we want to rank you in Bonita and La Jolla for many of the keywords but we will also want to target San Diego as a whole so that the whole city uh, and county kind of you start to learn who you are and the services you provide okay so um, that's SEO and that's one of our clients and um, that's the end of the SEO analysis but what I want to go into now really quick is the Facebook marketing like we talked about so um, we've been very successful in the Facebook market running uh, ads for multiple clients um, you know not just in the dental industry many multiple industries but I want to show you specifically one that we did uh, for orthodontics okay um, so this is our community page San Diego and Invisalign braces it's a community page um, that we have built to, to run our ads from all right just for braces and Invisalign here in San Diego um, and here is let's see this is what the post looks like okay and we did this one for Robert um, and it was just to attract you know Invisalign and braces patients they would click on this ad um, you know go through the funnel they would they would go through here put their information I'll actually go through run a test so you can see what it looked like enter your information to get a limited offer um, get now and then contact us for an appointment and it will go to this page where they can click and call the call center immediately or put in their information for a an appointment request okay and you get their contact information so very effective funnel um, we were able to run this um, and it we were paying around a uh, dollar twenty per conversion so we had a very successful conversion rate um, with this uh, and I'll show you the amount of leads that I received in just the past 30 days. Uh, we had 275 unique visitors to the page, and we had actually 36 um, potential leads and appointment requests submitted. So that is a very high uh, appointment request. Um, people submitting their information, um, you know, to to reach out to get an appointment for Invisalign or braces. So. This is the type of funnel we can do for dental implants, um, you know, Invisalign braces like this one, or just general dentistry. And it's it's going to do one of two things, uh, one of three things. For one, it's going to create incredible brand awareness in San Diego for your service and business. And two, you're going to start building a list of emails of potential clients that you can market to. And three, you're obviously going to get more business and more appointments, more patients in your chairs. So it's a really huge win-win all the way around. Um, when you look at these numbers, you know, for the investment, what you're paying, you know, what you're paying to get this, it's an incredible ROI. I think for these guys, it was like 600% return on investment. So um, that's pretty much what the funnel looks like. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, but that pretty much concludes my video that I wanted to do for you. So again, I appreciate the time you took to watch this. Um, I really hope this makes sense for you. I'm really interested in locking, locking elbows with you and growing your uh, dental clinic in Bonita and La Jolla. Um, I would love to bring SEO to your business, get you ranked up locally and also in San Diego and then also launch uh, Facebook marketing that's going to be highly targeted. That's one of the big things. Actually, I didn't mention that too much to you. You know, anyone can run a Facebook ad, right? Um, but not everybody should because there are actually, this campaign that we did, um, it's highly, highly targeted to very specific people that have shown interest in those services. 
So the targeting, the ad copy, everything that we do is done methodically and follows a particular process to have the best conversion rate um, possible. Um, so you shouldn't just throw up an ad or boost post. You want to actually target your campaign through the Facebook ad manager, okay? Not just boost boost a post because that's just going to eat your money. So um, yeah, just real quick, I wanted to touch a little bit more on the Facebook. But uh, like I said, I really appreciate your time. I really want to lock elbows with you um, and bring more patients to your clinics. And uh, again, I thank you so much for your time. And I really look forward to speaking with you more on this topic. Again, I will be in touch. This is Douglas James. You have a great day. Bye-bye.